Hi guys, so let's do another past paper question. Today also we are going to discuss a question from NPV area. So today we are going to discuss A level accounting 2019 paper 2 question number 6 part B. This particular question for your syllabus it will count for like 10 marks. So let's go through the requirement. There are two requirements. First one they are asking us to prepare the inflow outflow schedule and they are asking us to calculate the NPV. And the second requirement is the recommendation. So let's go through the scenario now. Calum PLC is considering acquisition of a new machine replacing the old machine. So Calum PLC is planning to get a new machine in order to replace the old machine. The management accountant of the company has provided the following estimated information in relation to the new machine. So the purchase cost is given. So this is something which is going to be outflow for the year zero. So I'll write like this. Useful life of the asset is five years. Residual value. So we are using the asset for five years. After five years, we can sell the asset. After usage of the asset, we can sell the asset for 200,000 and we can get that money. So this is a cash inflow for the year number five. Installation charges. So once you bring the asset, you have to install it. So you will have to pay money. So this is something cash outflow for the year zero. Site preparation. Again, once you bring the asset, you have to prepare the site before you install it. Again, you will have to spend money for that year zero cash outflow. Annual maintenance cost. So this is something annually we will have to incur year 1 to year 5 every year every year for the maintenance purpose we have to spend 100,000 100,000 100,000 we have to spend so year 1 to year 5 each year this particular 100,000 will become an outflow let's go through the additional requirements additional information Additional working capital requirement of the new machine is 300,000 so with regard in the working capital I have told you there are two adjustments one adjustment will happen in year zero one adjustment will happen in the last year of the operation if they have given this word the working capital is recovered at the end so year zero we will have to give money for the project so the cash is going out from the business year zero whatever the money that the project is getting for the working capital purpose so as the business i can recover it back it is recovered so year five it's going to be cash inflow the expected annual saving in the operation cost due to the new machine so because of this new machine i am going to generate a saving every year that means year one to year five every year i am going to save savings will be considering as savings will be considering as cash inflows year one to year five so here you can see whatever the outflows I have written inside the brackets, whatever the inflows I have written without the brackets. If the new machine is purchased, it is estimated that the old machine can be sold for 400,000 at the beginning of the project. That means when I'm starting the project immediately today in year zero present, I can sell the old asset. So if I sell the old asset, what will happen to the money? I will get money. So this is a cash inflow. This 400,000 is a cash inflow for the year zero. The required rate of return is 12%. So they have given the discounting factors. Now we have a very good understanding about the question. Now let's start doing our workings. So here I will write question six. Part B. Question 6. Part B. So let me start off with all my cash inflows. Cash inflows. Cash inflows. So this particular question we have for 5 years. Then I will write it here. Year 0. Year 1. 2. 3. 4. 5 for five years okay here i leave like maybe seven lines one two three four five six seven then here i'll write the cash outflows 
कैश आउटफ्लोज अंडर द कैश आउटफ्लो आई राइट द फर्स्ट वन विच इज द परचेस कॉस्ट the purchase cost that they have given how much is that 1.2 million i'll do the calculation in thousands okay so here 1.2 million 1200 inside the brackets cash outflow so we are done with this done next one residual value it is cash inflow cash inflow because by selling the asset i can get money get money this particular new asset after i use it for 5 years i will sell it i will sell it for 200000 and i will get some money as the business so residual value another name for residual value is scrap value if not we will call it as salvage value residual value how much is the value they have given 200000 so it is inflow for the last year done and the next one installation charges how much is that 75000 again it's outflow installation charges we have to pay have to pay installation installation charges 75000 75000 we are done with that one as well next one site preparation 125000 again for the site preparation also we have to pay money cash outflow site preparation 125000 so we are done with that one as well and next one annual maintenance cost annual maintenance cost every year i have to spend 100000 for the maintenance cash outflow annual maintenance annual maintenance every year year 1 to year 5 every year i have to spend that 100000 one, 100000 1 2 3 4 and 5 good so we are done with that one as well and next one the working capital two adjustments are there year 0 outflow year 5 inflow so working capital working capital 300000 year 0 outflow and here working capital recovery working capital recovery 300000 inflow so we are done with this one as well as this one and next one annual saving annual saving annual saving every year that's why year 1 to 5 saving will be considering it as cash inflows annual saving annual saving 500000 1 2 3 4 5 so we are done with that one as well and finally you have if you purchase the new asset you can sell the old asset you can sell the old asset so if you sell the old asset you will get money cash inflow so you will get the money at the beginning in year 0 itself so sale of sale of old asset what's the value 400000 400000 it's in year zero <coughs> so we are done with that particular adjustment as well so we are done with all the adjustments now let's take the total values here here total inflows 400 500 500 500 here it is 1000 and let me take the total outflows now total outflows so 
so here thousand two hundred plus seventy five thousand five hundred thousand five hundred thousand seven hundred thousand seven hundred here it is hundred 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 so we have all the inflows and outflows now let's take the net cash flows net cash flows so i'll reduce the size a little bit net cash flow so here inflow 400 outflow 1700 what's the net amount positive 400 negative 1700 what's the net amount negative 1300 negative 1300 so positive 500 negative 400 so net amount is 400 400 here also 400 here also 400 here also 400 here it is 900 now let's take the discounting factors in this question they have given the discounting factors at the rate of 12 percent 898071 so discounting factors your net cash flow should be multiplied by discounting factors for you to arrive at the present value it's 12 percent 89 so always year zero discounting factor is one don't forget always year zero discounting factor is one eight nine eight zero then we have seven one six four five seven seven one six four zero point five seven so now let me get the let me get the present values present values present values pv means present value so here minus negative thousand three hundred four hundred into point eight nine three hundred and fifty six here 400 into 0 0.80, 320. Here 400 into point 0 0.71, 284. Here 400 into point 0.64, 256. Here 900 into point 0.57, 513. So you have a negative present value, you have positive present values. Negative present value, positive present values, negatives and positives together, we will call it as net present value. So now let's get the net present value of this question. So let's take the positive present values first. Do the positive present value addition first. 356 plus 320 plus 284 plus 256 plus 513 then take the minus one minus 1300 so i am getting a value of 429 npv plus 429 429 means 429 means 429000 it is plus 429,000. So that's simple. Now you have to write the recommendation you know. If the NPV is positive, I have told this one before also. If the NPV is positive, we will accept the project. We will accept the project. If the NPV is negative, if the NPV is negative, we will reject the project so in this question it's a positive one so let's write the recommendation they are asking the second part here second part they are asking the recommendation recommendation so i'll write the recommendation since the since the npv is positive positive it is recommended to it is recommended to proceed with the proceed with the 
investment. Proceed with the investment. So with that, we are done with that particular question as well. So if you have not watched my pre, now this is not only the NPV past paper question that I have discussed. There are a certain other past paper questions also I have discussed before. So here you can see somewhere over here you will get the playlist. If you click the playlist, you will be able to watch all the other past paper questions that I have done for the NPV. And if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe my channel to watch something similar, these kind of uh, videos in the future as well.